What is going on you guys? So today we're going to be doing some resistance band training. So I don't know if you guys have already seen my resistance band series. I've already done a few workouts, you know, for other parts of the body, but today we're going to be targeting our triceps. I'm talking about the long head and the short head of the triceps. So before we go ahead and begin this workout today, I'm going to introduce the workout bands I'm going to be using for this video. These bands, I got them from Fit Beast, so I'm going to be doing a review on them by, by you know, after this workout, because this is going to be the first time that I'm going to be using these bands. So if you're looking for bands, you can go ahead and check these guys out. The link will be down in the description, so you can go ahead and check them out. They're also on Instagram. Resistance bands, I'll let you know right now, aren't the best for putting on serious mass. If one of your goals is to put on serious mass, go get yourself some dumbbells or go get yourself a barbell. I don't want to hear nobody in the comments telling me about how, you know, ineffective they are. It's supposed to help you with building, you know, just general muscle, keeping you fit. Before we begin the workout for the day, I'm going to show you guys everything that's in the package. So everything that comes with the resistance bands. Right here, I've got the handles so just like any you know handles at uh, at the gym like just cable machine when you go to a cable machine you see they have handles right so that's how these function they're just handles that you would attach to the resistance band because res resistance bands basically function just like the cable machine at the gym except they don't have as much resistance as those would have because those go up really high right here there's two ankle straps so you want to work your legs your uh hamstrings your glutes you're going to need this so there's a lot of workouts you can do as well with this they've also actually included a basic guide you know for full different kinds of workouts you can do i'm not going to use this kind of I, I don't use this man I'm, i just i just come up with my own stuff <laughs> you know what i mean i got next here the door anchor so this one you would use to attach to the door to do door workouts so you can do a lot of door res uh, resistance band door workouts you know it makes your res uh, your workouts more dynamic you can change them up chest workouts you can do back workouts tricep workouts a lot of workouts with this it's got its purpose but it's not for building serious muscle next up and the best part of this entire thing are these the resistance bands so you can stack these up, They're, they come in different levels, so from 10 pounds up to 50 pounds, you can stack them up for increased resistance, more work. They all have these little metal clips at the ends, which you will just attach to the handles. So it's nothing crazy, pretty simple. Attach them to each handle and you're good to go. So you guys are gonna see me work with these throughout this video. We'll put them to the test and we'll see how this goes, but you know what? Let's get right to this video right here, y'all. <laughs> Okay, for the first workout here, we've got some overhead band presses. Four sets, 12 repetitions each. To begin, you want to use resistance levels you're comfortable with. Start light and then go higher by stacking the bands. So start by locking the clips together to create a loop with the bands. Next thing you want to do is you want to use one foot to hold down the loop as you pull the band or the bands around your back. Okay, some more tips for you guys. So pull the bands up along the length of your back until your elbows almost straighten out. So it doesn't have to be completely straight, but you want to get it as, you know, as close to being straight as possible. So the next tip on, and the final tip for this one, you want to make sure that you let the band down until just past your elbow level. So just past that, and then you bring it back up. So that's what you do for every single repetition. Okay, for this workout and every other workout, you want to take 45 seconds to one minute break between each set, and you want to take a one minute rest time between each exercise. Here we go, number two, lean in tricep kickbacks. Four sets, 12 repetitions each. Just like the other workouts, you want to make sure you're working with resistance levels you're comfortable with. Start lights, go higher by stacking a band. So start by grabbing the band tightly and wrapping them around your feet while leaning forward. Okay, here's the first tip for this one. Make sure your band is being held tightly and at the position that gives the most resistance. My next tip for you guys right here, you want to pull the band up along the length of your side until your elbows almost straighten out. So it doesn't have to straighten out, but you know, almost there, like just about there. 
Next up, you want to keep pressure on your triceps by bringing the bands back only slightly past elbow level. So you want to make sure that it's only slightly past your elbow levels every time you bring it down. So whenever, whenever it's back down, it got to only be slightly past. Next up, you want to keep both arms tucked along your sides and maintain their position throughout. So no elbow flaring, none at all. That's very important right there. And make sure you take the same uh, amount of uh, break time between sets and between each exercise. For the third one here, we've got some push-ups, close knuckle push-ups, four sets, 12 repetitions, each one. So as always, work your resistance levels you're comfortable with. Start by grabbing a band tightly and wrapping them around your back. I mean your upper back in this case. So very important that it's at, you know, an, a, a high level. And here's my next tips. You want to create tension in the band by grabbing onto points that create the most resistance. My next tip here, you want to make sure that you're pushing from your knuckles and then keep them close together to emphasize the triceps. Those two tips are very important, you know, to complete this with the correct forms or you're not going to be completing it with the correct form. Another thing you should note, make sure the band is tightly wrapped around your upper back. I said this at the start, but that's how important it is. It has to be at, you know, the top of your back and it has to be tightly wrapped around that too to create tension. My final tip for this one, make sure you're pushing your body all the way up until your elbows are straight and then back down. Number four, outward tricep extensions, four sets, 12 reps per arm. Like always, work with resistance levels you're comfortable with. For this one, start by clipping band ends together, wrap loop around one foot and grab the bands tightly with the opposite hand. So very important. So from one foot to the opposite hand, that's how you want to grab it. You want one foot to hold the pressure and the other one to grab it. So create enough tension in the band by grabbing onto points that create the most resistance. Just like I said, for every single workout, you know, you want to make sure that you're using the most resistance possible. Next tips for you guys. From a leaning position, you want to extend the band outwards from the opposite hand. So whatever hand you choose to, you know, work off of, you want to extend outwards from that foot towards, you know, out just outwards. That's basically it right there. So our next tip for this one right here is you want to bring the bands all the way past your elbows on every single rep. Keep elbows from moving from starting position. That's important. It has to be locked in position. It can be flaring, can be moving from the, you know, wherever, whatever the starting point is. It has to stay right there. Next tip here, so make sure that you're in a leaning position throughout and do not leave that position as well throughout. So uh, you have to maintain your leaning position, hold it in position. Only thing that should be moving is your, your forearm, basically. So next and the final tip for this one right here, make sure you're extending all the way until your elbows almost straighten out. And this goes for every tricep, you know, kickback or extension that I'll be talking about. For our final workout here, overhead single tricep press. Four sets, 12 reps per arm. Okay, for this one, you want to start by clipping the band ends together, get in a kneeling position and wrap the loop around your feet. Both, both of them, so you have to wrap them around it and just pull you know, along the side of your back. My next tip for you guys, you want to create enough tension in the bands by grabbing onto points that create the most resistance. As always, just like every other workout I've talked about in this, always grab points that create the most resistance for you. Okay, so some more tips for you guys. Pull the bands up along the length of your back until your elbows almost straighten out. That's very important. Here's 
another one for you guys. So you want to make sure that you let the band or the bands down until just past your elbow level. That's important for most tricep workouts I've talked about. And yeah, critical. So make sure you keep that in mind when doing any tricep workout for that matter. Just right, you know, a little bit past your elbow. Next up, you want to make sure you're lifting the band from one side of your body straight up towards the other side. That's another important tip right there. So make sure to take note of that uh, as you do this or as you complete this. I'm gonna go ahead and remind you guys to take 45 seconds in one or two one minutes between each set and take uh, a minute between each exercise. That way, you know, you're keeping your body working and that's it for this one. There's the end of the workout right there. You can train your triceps anywhere with this. Although there's a lot of things that come in the pack, like for example, the door anchor, you know, and the handles like this one. So these things will help you work out, but they might reduce the resistance of the resistance bands or may not let you use, you know, the actual resistance of the resistance band. Here's a little tip or a little hint that you guys can, you know, add or use when you're using these bands. You want to make sure that you're holding or you're gripping from, you know, what, whatever applies the most amount of resistance. So you have to grab it as, you know, far as you can. So grab them until there's enough resistance and work whatever muscle group you're working with them. You can also use the handles if that works for you because most of the time these bands are designed not for any specific height. So for different people, the resistance levels will be different if you're using the handles. But like I said, just grab them, you know, wherever works best for you and give them a good grasp. You, you also get to work your forearms doing that because you have to keep a tight grasp of the entire bands. These things work to get the job done, like I said, especially if you're on the road. These I would advise, you know, for you to bring on the road. These are something that you could bring on the road if you travel a lot, if you go to places, if you're always on the move or if you like, you know, working with little equipments or minimal equipment, you don't want to have a dumbbell and all that baggage, but you want to stay fit, then this will work for you. Even beginners, this is great. And it's also affordable, like I said. So these compared to, you know, dumbbells, dumbbells cost a lot more, barbells cost a lot more. If you want to grab these ones, make sure to go down in the description and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks to Fit Beast for these bands. I really appreciate it guys and I'll catch you guys in my next video. It's your boy Midas and I'm out y'all. <laughs>